starting off the painting and reassembling series. This is series number three from Flashy Decals. Thank you for watching the first two series. So series three here is all about painting and reassembling. And to start off, I got this stuff. I saw it in some other Hot Wheel disassembling videos and painting videos and all sorts of stuff. But for right now, we have the citrus strip, the paint and varnish stripping gel. Here are the instructions and directions and cautions, first aid. This is in a number two. This one is five and five PPE. These are the 7 mil nitrile. I got these at Harbor Freight for about $13 a year ago. Last time I checked, the price had not changed. So it will protect you and it will be cheaper than a hospital visit for chemical burns. All right, as I've seen the full baptism approach. So we will be dunking the die cast directly into citrus strip stripping gel. Okay, I have shaken it well. This is where it could splash you in the face. So we're not even gonna try to remove that. All right, there we go. Now, let's see here. Which one's it gonna be? Which one's it gonna be? Which four is it gonna be? All right, from number five, this one is the 55 Chevy. Number seven, the Raging Express. On number four, Lotus Esprit S1. Number three, like we're doing number three here. Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. Number three, you are up first. All right, now, we don't need these plastic pieces. Stock, painted like this. That's actually a pretty cool paint job. Now, Here's the paint brushes I found. And yes, I am authorized to use these because I am the one that purchased them. These are some kind of makeup brush. I haven't a clue what they're used for other than makeup, so. We'll see if they're any good. They were on clearance, so that, that might uh, prove the downfall or prove brilliant. We'll find out. One uh, video said to just paint it on, so let's see what happens when we just paint it on. Well, the paint's not really coming off as easily as the one suggested it would. After a couple of minutes, it just started flaking right off. I mean, it looks simple enough. All right, we're gonna do the baptism approach. All right, I'm gonna come back and see it in about 15. Now. Or not. All right, let's see, it's starting to come off now. All right, let's put this on the lid. All righty. All right, 
And look at that. That's after about 30 minutes just sitting in this paint stripper. It seems to be coming off as easy as it was in the others videos. comes right off all right we'll get that uh, cleaned off a little bit more here and by clean off I mean I'm going to rinse it with lacquer thinner this I will need to do outside or out in the garage and it is gonna need both hands and here we go another one of these guys freshly washed yeah, that's very, very fumey. I'm taking that downstairs. Set it in here. Take our opener, our lid. All right, we're gonna head downstairs now. All right, it's been about 20 minutes of uh, swishing it around in with the lacquer thinner and here's what it looks like I had the other stiff brush I used on it with the lacquer thinner and it came off pretty well there's only a few little spots you can see where the paint hasn't come off yet But other than that, for a first first time, that's pretty good. All right, we've got the paint stripper all put back in a container and our Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect has some residue of the paint stripper in dried form. You can see it right there. It turns kind of a pink color. So now, we're going to try the secondary wash, and that is with isopropyl alcohol. So we've got isopropyl 91 here. I don't think that's sufficient. Alrighty. And it says to do this as much of the paint stripper off because when you go to paint it you don't want paint stripper on there what if q-tips would work all right here we go got a bunch of q-tips now if i can get the q-tips to work much better then i don't have to use that nasty lacquer stuff because even out in the garage it was strong and I know my nose is a little stronger than most, but it was really overpowering. I had to do it outside. And the temperature isn't conducive to doing it outside at the moment. So we will just see what the Q-tip does here. I think that's about it for right now, as far as I can tell. Just a few little pieces of paint that are stuck on there. And I need to, what do I have? What could, ooh, I think I know what I can use. All right, this is a, uh, a dental tool and I just cleaned it off. It's some kind of pick-like device. So let's see if this can be used to get the paint off this. So it seems to be working a little bit.
yeah, it just pretty much scrapes it off. And uh, I think I got the lacquer thinner actually to thin out the nail polish because that has a hardener in it and you need something to keep it from hardening up on you so you can actually paint it. Idea was to be using it in a uh, airbrush. So I think I can just do the alcohol right here, this isopropyl. Well, the dentist tool does work. Alrighty. There is our very first paint stripped vehicle. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, this piece looks like a small cutting disc. So I am going to attempt to repair my poor performance on the rivet here and just basically cut it off right about there just right below where it gets all crappy rivet is a little more easy to work with. Alright, let's get the paper changed and go on to the next step. And just run it over once more. One more wash with the alcohol. Here's our primer, it is a white color. All right, so I have an hour between the coat or I have to wait two days or so. So the painting is gonna take a while. Each, each video will probably be two or three days worth of footage or waiting and whatnot. So I'm going to do a primer coat right here. Now, I'm going to do that outside so you won't be able to see it because it's dark outside. Alright, here's how it looks after the first round. And the primer came out much, much faster than I anticipated. But yeah, it's pretty well covered there. go. It's kind of thick right down here. It's kind of thick on the edges there. So we'll see how it looks tomorrow morning. And we will come back and check it out. And we're back at 24 hours. Now I know I'm going to commit an unpardonable sin in the painting world but I'm touching it with my bare hands and if I want to get a good coat next time I'm gonna have to strip this off because I've got finger oils now in this now drying not fully cured paint this uh, primer but guess what Ford Transit Connect you're never gonna get painted I'm sorry even though we fixed up your post there and didn't need to there. But you're just the first example of me attempting to put primer on. And you will be forever in my collection as the one that sacrificed so far the most. Thank you, Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect.
This vehicle is the first that I ever attempted any kind of reconstruction on. We'll just put it right back together. I know someday I might want it to paint the interior. I'll, f I'll finish you up. You'll be my, my unicorn here. Don't know what kind of wheels to put on you yet, but we'll find out. Here we go, Ford Transit Connect. Going back. If there's a Series 7, we'll see you then.